Hi, this is Gail from Life in Splatters, and this is the pretty little painting I did called Coral Reef. It's a, an 18 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas, and this is a swipe technique with a little surprise open cup, fantastical creatures added. I'm just checking my consistencies, and they're looking pretty good, so we're going to start and add ribbons of paint. Now there's no base coat on this canvas. It is a dry canvas. So I start with Artist Loft Cobalt Metallic. That's my Sergeant Copper. I believe the next color is some black. And then there's 24 karat gold. And at the last minute, I put a little bit of that Folk Art Treasure Gold Collection, the Amethyst or that pretty soft lavender. I also added a little bit of my new Mysterious Mixture, which is that lovely teal metallic. I am using a damp paper towel to swipe. There is no silicone in any of these paints. These paints sell up beautifully. My consistency is a very slight mound that disappears quickly, so the mix is Floetrol and a squirt of water. So here's an interesting little visual test. Those colors look good. Um, they're vibrant, the cells are developing. And I have half of the canvas is white. But watch what happens to these colors when I add the black to the uh, empty half of the canvas. It brings a richness in these colors that uh, it just, it just appears like magic. So there's a good lesson in learning to see how white or black can affect the appearance of the colors. I've noticed it quite a bit when I use a white base coat versus a, back, a black base coat. Uh, just an interesting observation. Keep that in mind when you're planning your paintings. Do you want a rich, uh, a rich painting with lots of depth? or do you want it to be lighter and uh, less uh, distinct and dramatic.
Now for me, this is the fun part. This is the open cup to create the fantastical creatures at the top of the painting. So you take, I think paper or styrofoam work best because they float a little bit. Uh, and you cut, you cut the cup, you lay the ring down on your base coat, and you start layering your paints in. And, and you want contrast, you want to go from gold to black, to turquoise, to copper, some more black. That gives you more definition, more cells, um, more interest in the uh, creature. And from here, it's just some schmears and touch-ups, uh, creating interest in both the reef and in the fantastical fishes. Uh, it's a pretty piece. The black adds drama. Look how the look how the cells have developed in the the reef part. Uh, in the amount of time it took to do the open cup. Uh, lots more cells, really beautiful, rich color. Uh, very pleased. Uh, it's, it's a pretty piece. And I learned quite a bit about this. Uh, the trick again with the open cup is be careful not to have too much paint. As your creature sort of grows and gets bigger and, and I'm not tilting off any of that paint. So it's a good reminder to just go easy on the little layers.
So thank you again for coming on this painting journey with me. Uh, this reef part turned out so rich. I, I, the cells, the lacing, the depth, I'm very pleased with it. And then of course, this is either one or two sea creatures. I kind of see like a fish, a clownfish on the left and halfway across the beginning of an elephant fish or elephant octopus. Anyway, I think they're really pretty, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the process and learned to maybe experiment yourself with some of these techniques. I want to thank everybody for their kind words and support and let's just keep making beautiful things. I can't tell you how much I love painting, but I can show you. Thanks again. Bye.